What up, squad? I'm back with episode eight of the girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. And this is going to get crazy because I know when I read the manga chapter, it was like Resident Evil kiss zombies. And so you're about to see the wildness that's about to unfold. So let's get started. Welcome to the Kim Club. Rentaro's new soulmate, Kusidi, who tried to make like um, an immortality drug and it just didn't work out. And so it made her small now. But this is her original form. Her original form is a voluptuous third year. But here we go. The urge to kiss lover medicine is about to go down. Let's get it started. This narrator is kind of hilarious. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There was some Dragon Ball Z shit going on last time. Look at it. They are wiggling the kiss zombies. We're going to get some real etchy stuff. I already know. Oh, my. Look at that super speed, bro. This is the shit. This is the shit Vegeta was talking about. Okay. All right. There's a lot of risks. Here we go. I'm telling you. Resident Hazard. You know, in the manga, it's, it actually says Resident Evil, but this says Kiss Hazard. This says Resident Hazard. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so funny that, like, Shizuka, like, dive down, and then, like, they still, like, helped her. <laughs> Even as zombies, they still helped her up. That's hilarious. Four doses to neutralize, uh-huh. Okay. Here we go. Got to get away from the Kiss Zombies. Uh, they want it too. It's gonna. This is probably gonna be the most entertaining episode of the season. Kissy, kissy, kissy. Oh shit! All right. This feel. Yo, this music feels like it's Resident Evil. I don't know if I can actually play it because it might be copyright. But here we go. All right. No one in sight. No one in sight. All right. We cool. We cool with this. Oh, who's here? Oh, they popped up on another. Damn, she's throwing things out. Oh, the melt your face off mess. <laughs> the melt your face off. Why would she have that? Look at Shizuka. What? <laughs> oh, Shizuka is, is like, Shizuka is like so slow. That's why they're like holding her hand. That's funny. Running them off. Yo, it's that throw pie vice principal. A part of my French. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Three hours of foundation, bro. Oh my god, she looks awful. <laughs> Yo, I'm starting to think is Frieza is is Frieza's Japanese VA? The VA for the vice president. Oh my gosh, she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> the girls want to kiss you, and they're his girlfriends anyway. So is that really bad? Oh, look at her. She's adorable though. Oh. <laughs> I kind of feel the same way. Every time she like. Falls or something. It, you have to protect Shizuka. Well, you're not supposed to help the enemy, though. <laughs> Bro, you are you in these damn steps, man. Mm. Away on research leave. At a time like this. You got a point. Aww. She must be protected. But isn't this bad? She lifted this man? That's the real, that's the real problem. Resident Hazard. Hmm? <laughs> Choo. Things get kind of intimate. We here for it. I mean, it's not death by snoo snoo, it's death by choo choo. The sound effect of like the kids is like choo. So death by choo choo. I mean, do you, re I mean, think about it. Do you really want to get away from this? Not really. What are you gonna do with that hanger? <laughs> she still looks adorable. Oh my god. That was such a bad joke. <laughs> so hang in there. That's such a bad joke. Uh oh. 
the twins, <laughs> not twins, but the tag team, I should say. Oh, what do you got planned here? Uh, like it's catapult, catapult, and Hokari, catapult and Hokari. Mm. <laughs> that looks even goofier than it should, bro. Why are her pants like? You know what? I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm surprised that's even like. <laughs> I can definitely tell that the studio was definitely giving this everything again. It, this is definitely gonna season two, without a doubt. Oh, here's the point. They're really arguing over this man. This is the moment I was waiting for. This might be the start of when they discovered their bisexuality. Huh? It was bisexual, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> oh my God, that is, the, that is the funniest fucking thing I've ever did in my life. <laughs> They're tough lovers. This man's worried about the wrong thing. Look at him. Look at him kiss zombies go. For some strange reason, for some strange reason, it felt more intimate in the manga, but at least they kept it. I thought they would like get rid of it. Alright. Alright, Rentaro done made it to the Kim the Kim lab somehow. I mean. But look who's waiting. Close that door so fast. And then I was like, eh. a random locker? This random ass locker in the hallway? <laughs> oh my goodness. Nan Listen, Nano is looking forward to it. Nano needs to get her love. Shizuka got her love. Hakari, Karane, like, they all looking for it. I mean, what are you doing here? Oh, it was lost. <laughs> Oh my god. Holy hell. Both they're both hiding from Nano, but Nano knew what it was efficient. Hide out in the lab. Which is part of her character. I mean, she looks for the easy way. And to get them both, go to the Kim lab. That's the only way to turn them back normal, right? Makes sense. She was the leader. <laughs> she was the, like she's literally the leader of the group, effectively. You know, Kusini's kind of adorable too, besides the stuff about taking love drugs and diaper stuff. Like, you go beyond that and she's great. I mean, Nano is definitely smart, even as a zombie. I doubt that she's gonna just let shit slide, you know what I mean? Think of nothing but drugs, make sure for everyone else. That sounds kind of wrong in many ways, by the way. Lost all the club, I mean, if you're always thinking about drugs, they're going to get the wrong idea. And so I get that. I do get that. I mean, you ain't got to stop making drugs, but sometimes you got to stop doing certain things. Reverse medicine, huh? Is this Pokemon? Yep. Wait a minute. Yo, Nano was level 99. Ah, uh, what is going on here? She's an idiot. It's true. Nano Nano has never seen that form of Kusti yet. I mean, I think all I think we can all agree that this is like the best one. Whew, voluptuous. Uh no. The answer is no. Remember, y'all, she said she's going to tie Nano up in this in her new form. I stare now. Kissing list? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? Hmm. Idiot! <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> she is such a... She's such an idiot. Oh my God. Chi Chi. And now it's just you and me. I don't think she's breaking it. I think she's just kind of. Oh 
Oh my god, she literally broke the door. <laughs> oh my god. That's such a reference. I don't, was was that in the manga? I don't believe that was in the manga. I don't remember that. I do not remember that in the manga whatsoever. And I thought they ran for a while before, until they got to like a storage room. That's that's kind of new. Nano really is like the best girl on here. It's crazy. <laughs> they ended it right there, even though it thoroughly really ended. I get it though. Every single one of these episodes has been entertaining. Oh damn! Well, so much for that. <laughs> she just. I don't know if you. <laughs> She an idiot. How can you be such a genius scientist and an idiot? Oh, everyone's waking up. All right, here we go. Calm down, Kanane. My God. Oh. So they're starting to remember stuff, huh? Got pretty. <laughs> Got pretty intimate, huh? With Kanane. Oh shit. Mm. Very true. I'm kind of wondering why they're so why they're so into each other, like bad. I've read that like they've kissed each other like nine times, but that's ma that's manga wise because you know the anime is not caught up to all that stuff. But I've been trying to see all the moments that it happened, but I'm reading the manga too. It's okay, Kusadi. We forgive you. What a stand up guy. Give give it to give it to our boy. Give it to our boy. Lovely. He is such a Chad. <laughs> what? Why would she say that? Like, out of all things to say, she says that. Holy hell. Holy hell. And then Kusidi gets her kiss. Congratulations. Can I just say that this is probably one of the most entertaining episodes, like the rest of them, of this season. But I still can't. <laughs> get over what Hakati just said. Like, everyone's saying, like, everyone's giving, like, this praise, and then Hakati just like, I'm so wet right now. I'm so glad most of the dialogue and stuff is, like, kept from the manga into, even though I think the manga said, I'm sopping wet right now, which, I mean, it's still the same thing, so it's not really a big difference. But I hope you guys enjoyed episode eight with me. It was fantastic. It was incredible. It was funny. It was etchy for what it was. The little bit, the vice principal, like face melting off and Kusti being a dumbass, but it was also entertaining as well. It's just been great all around. This episode definitely deserves an 8.5 out of 10. Just easily. I might even raise it to a 9. Just for the simple fact, if I watch it again, I know it's going to just be even funnier. And then I'll try to compare it to the manga source material. But it is what it is. Um, anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video with me. Hit that like button. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the episode yourself. Share it amongst your friends. Subscribe to the channels for more videos and other content. And, of course, follow me on socials for updates and everything more. Until next time, stay wavy squad. I'm out.